Laura's favorite book. <laughs> this will be my third time purchasing her favorite book. Hey guys, welcome to day six of Vlogmas. I'm in my car. I've got some coffee. You'd think it was the morning, but it's not. I drink coffee all day long. I was originally going to have the kids do Christmas crafts for today, and that was gonna be my plan for day six. However, I've decided to make a switch. It's the weekend and I'm gonna go do some Christmas shopping for the kids. We've got a small budget. I have a list on Amazon that I've already made like months ago and Joe and I have agreed on the things that we wanna look for. Obviously he's gonna stay home with the kids and I'm gonna go shopping by myself and I'm just gonna like message him things if I find better ideas or something more affordable. I'm gonna try and take you along with me. I'm on the camera now. I'm gonna switch over to my phone when I get to the store. No promises. I'm a little nervous in public about vlogging. At the end of this video, I will show you everything that we ended up getting the kids for Christmas. I believe after today we will be completely done shopping for them, except for stockings, which is a video that will be coming to you soon. Can't remember which day, but I am doing their stockings from the dollar store and I'm pretty excited about that one. But after today, we should be completely done shopping for all of their big gifts. And their gifts from my mom, who lives all the way in New York, um, came today. So when the kids are in bed tonight, I'll grab the camera and I will just show you everything that we are getting the kids for Christmas. Thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, I'm back from the store. The kids are happy and watching TV. Joe is making dinner. And I am taking this opportunity to show you guys what we got for the kids. I couldn't film too much in the store because, oh my goodness, <laughs> there was so many people in the store. Like, ridiculous so many people. I passed a lady who was with her husband and their kids and she was like, we gotta get out of here. And I was like, oh man. <laughs> On top of that, I also was taking pictures of things that I saw to send to Joe. So I was like trying not to be in the way and like make sure that we agreed on what we were buying and stuff. But yeah, I, I am so excited about what we got the kids. So how this year is going to work is I think this is what we did last year too, just kind of on accident. This is gonna probably, for some people, seem like a lot of gifts, and for some people seem like not very many gifts at all. I've seen the two sides. Um, so Joey and Gloria are each going to get three gifts from mommy and daddy, and then Santa is going to fill their stockings. That's how we're gonna do things this year, and we'll just take it year by year and see how it goes. I grew up with the Christmas tree being just like more presents than tree um, for most of my childhood and I remember kind of feeling, it's, I mean, it's embarrassing to say, but I remember feeling disappointed as I got older and there was less and less and the reason for that of course is because the older you get, the more expensive the gifts that you want are, but as a kid you don't really know that. and. I just have had it in my mind even before we had kids that I wanted to start small and kind of just set a tone of not being too excessive at Christmas time. And for our budget too, we are not rich people. <laughs> and it's really hard not to go all out while they're little like this because their toys and the things that I would want to buy them really are so affordable. So if you're new here, I've got two kids, Joey and Gloria who are four, and, or actually four and a half this month and two and a half. My goal while gift shopping for them was to get them presents that they could actually both play with um, and that would be safe for both of them. Gloria doesn't actually, surprisingly for a two and a half year old, doesn't really put a ton of stuff in her mouth. 
um, but I still like to be careful and we are going to be licensed for foster care next month so I just want to be like thinking ahead we're gonna have little ones here I tried to fuel their interests and I tried I'm looking at one of my favorites back here and I tried to choose things that would encourage open-ended play and I tried to choose things that I knew they would both really enjoy so let's show you what we got for the kids both of them really love the Frozen movies and I do too actually and so just by chance I don't have it in here with me but one day while we were at oh I should say all of my shopping today was done at Walmart on a totally different day at Walmart of course they've got like the little toys next to the checkout stand and there was an Olaf that was like this big and he was a couple dollars so we snatched him up and at first the kids weren't interested in him very much and now all of a sudden it's like the one thing Gloria will go for every single day all day long she's playing with that little Olaf so I got her a whole set this is I think the most expensive thing that we got for her yeah it was $24 and change and it's got Anna and Elsa and Sven and um Kristoff and it's got the wind spirit I don't know that I'll keep that out and I actually don't know that I will keep out Olaf because he's so small but I'll give her a chance so this is what I got for my Gloria that's her big gift and then for Joey the gift that I think he's going to be the most excited about his big interest is the how to train your dragon movies like you've ever seen my vlogs before you've heard me say that 90 90 percent of the time Joey's a tiger that has completely gone out the window since he started watching the How to Train Your Dragon movies. He is obsessed and he is now a dragon. Like, probably 80% of the time he goes between dragon and cheetah now. But for a while there, it was just dragon. And I just think he is going to go so bananas over this. I actually think this was $10. And I'm just realizing now, I didn't get this at Walmart. They have them at Walmart, but I actually got this one at Target, and it was $10. And they have, like, all the other dragons. Um, oh, it actually shows on the back. They have other dragons. And I actually put a couple of the other dragons on their little... I make a list, and I send it to my dad and my stepmom and my mom, um, just for ideas. And so I put a couple of those dragons on that list thinking that maybe he could have a couple to play with, but I just know he is going to be so excited. I, I'm so excited for him to open up his presents. <laughs> it's like December 6th and I'm just like, let's do this. Um, but yeah, it shoots, he shoots ice or fire or whatever. And the only bummer about this is that the little guy hiccup, his helmet doesn't come off. That's kind of a bummer. And I kind of foresee that being a tantrum, but we'll just see what happens. So that's part of what we got for Joey. I should probably put things to the side that I've already shown you so I don't forget. If you've been around the channel at all, this is Gloria's favorite book. <laughs> um, this will be my third time purchasing her favorite book. She has torn the other ones. Either the first time was an accident because she honestly just looked at it so much it just started falling apart. The second time was on purpose because she's two. <laughs> But I grabbed her, I saw this. This is also at Target. I'm not meaning to be a liar. I just totally forgot. I also I bought this and the toothless at the same time. So this was at Target too, and it was uh, $8.99. And for how much she loves it, that's so worth it to me. And I think she's gonna be really excited to have a brand new copy because the other copy has been in the trash and gone for months now. And so she hasn't had a chance to look at her favorite story in such a long time. And I'm really excited for her to open that. So for the second thing we got Joey, he has been increasingly interested in Mickey Mouse, which I feel like he's a little bit late to the game for his age for that. But we've just never really been a very Mickey Mouse kind of family um, until like the last month. And he has just been super, super interested. We've watched all the Mickey Christmases and we've been watching the, if you have Disney Plus, they have a ton of shorts that are like based around Pluto, like the old ones made in like 1935 and stuff. And Joey's just been eating those up. And I saw this at Walmart for, I think it was $10. And I just thought, how perfect. It's got all the characters, they're great sizes. 
It says three and up. This is something that both kids can play with um, and there's enough pieces that they can share and I just, I just thought that was a really good find. So that's the second thing we got for Joey. Third and final thing that we got for Gloria. It's gonna seem kind of weird, but finger puppets. Gloria really loves to sing and she really loves um, Coco Melon. And they do, if you've ever seen that channel, if you have kids this age, you've probably seen that channel. But um, they have like all the finger family songs and she will sing them to herself all the time. And if we bring Play-Doh out, she'll actually like mold Play-Doh around her finger and, and pretend. And I saw these, this was another thing that I actually grabbed at Target. I shouldn't have said I got everything at Walmart. I totally got some of this at Target. Um, because I started shopping back in October. That's why I'm being forgetful. I started buying a couple things back in October because I didn't want us to just be like overwhelmed budget wise here in December. But yeah, just these four, I love them because they are really durable and they're toddler sized. Like she's totally gonna be able to fit these on her finger. They're fun little animals. And I like that she can't choke on them. I've bought her finger puppets in the past that were like this big and I they just freaked me out too bad to leave out. So that's the final thing that we got for Gloria. The final thing that we got for Joey, this was like a total whim. This wasn't on the list at all. Just saw it and I was like, yes. <laughs> and I said to Joe and he was like, yeah. So it's a big old tool set. The piece, all the pieces in the tool set, or not all the pieces, but the main pieces do stuff. So like the drill actually drills. Um, and this is a flashlight and it actually shines light. And then there is a, uh, what are you? Oh, oopsie. Oh, is that better light? Maybe that's better light. We're gonna switch light in the middle of the video. Um, what is this, like a saw? What are you? Yeah, this one's a saw. And so it comes with a power drill, a jigsaw, a flashlight, a flathead bit, Phillips bit, drill bit, bolt bit, screwdriver handle, a corner ruler, like a little ruler, and it's got like little screws, which I may or may not leave out, and um, like a wrench, and it's got a screwdriver, and it's got like three, it just is so cool. Another gift that I really think Joey will absolutely love, but they can also both play with and do so much pretend play with. <clears throat> Whenever we take out tools for any reason around the house, Joey is right there and super interested. So that's the final thing that we got for Joey for like the big presents that go under the tree. And then, so I, I got two things for their stockings. I was going to, my plan was to just completely do stockings from the dollar store, but I found these couple of things and I just thought how sweet. So from the Frozen 2 movie, I got a little stuffed, oh, maybe it is better to have it back over here. Sorry guys. <clears throat> this is casual. This is a vlog. <laughs> um, I got a little stuffed Elsa to go and I, my plan is to have her um, poking out the top of Gloria's stocking. And then if you've seen that movie, they have a little fire spirit. And I am going to have him poking out the top of Joey's stocking. And I just thought that would be so cute. And I just thought they would really like it. I also got them stuffed animals. They're really, they were really affordable. These were also a whim, also not on the list. I just thought to myself like, okay, three presents for mommy and daddy and then stockings. And then I thought it would be kind of fun to get them something for their beds. And so I just strolled down the bedding aisle and I saw this, come on. <laughs> um, and so this is gonna be for Gloria. I, I think I'm going to not wrap these guys and I'm just going to have them sitting amongst the presents under the tree. It's gonna be hard to hide these, I'm just realizing, in our tiny apartment, but I'll figure it out. We got Gloria and Olaf, and he was $12, which I thought was kind of affordable. I mean, for such a popular Disney character, maybe I'm wrong, but that just seemed really affordable to me, especially for his size. Um, and then Joey, it was between this and between the shark that you will have already seen. Um, and I texted Joe and Joe said to get this one. So those are all the things that Joe and I got for the kids for Christmas this year. And then behind me here are the two things that my mom sent 
Um, my mom lives in New York. She's lived in New York the past year. And so she sent their gifts early. But I will show you. My mom sent this super awesome magnet tile set. And it comes, it looks like it comes with a car. Does the car come with it? What's involved? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, here, it says on the side what's what all is in it. All the little pieces. I had, so I had sent her our list. And on the list was the magnet, the car part. Just a set of two of those and like nothing else. But she chose this big old set. It's got... 121 pieces. I gasped when I opened the box. Like, the kids are gonna get so much use out of this and they are just gonna make so many wonderful little things with it. I'm really excited for them to open this. Thank you, Nana. Can't wait to vlog Christmas Day and see them open that present. So I'm gonna have, that's for Joey. I mean, it's for both of them, but it's for Joey. He's gonna open that one. And then, <laughs> My beautiful Gloria girl, get dressed up. So pretty, y'all. Oh, the camera's not doing it. Sparkly, there we go. Sparkly justice. There's four pairs of shoes and two little crowns. And it should also have, yeah, a pair of gloves and some jewelry. Um, when I showed I put this on the list and I showed it to Joe before I sent it to my parents and he was like, I don't like the small jewelry. And I was like, that's okay, we'll just put it away. So I'm gonna let her have the necklace and, a, and the bracelet probably. And then I will probably just put away the earrings and the ring until she's bigger. Um, we'll see, we'll see though. I just think she is gonna be so excited. And she's gonna wanna put them on right away. My little princess. Very last thing that I grabbed at Walmart, doesn't count as a gift, because I'm not wrapping it, but it's their Christmas jammies. I really wanted to be the whole like matching pajama family this year. It's just so expensive. Um, just not gonna happen this year, that's okay. Joey, like I said, has been really interested in Mickey Mouse. And the other day I was putting, he has like a just plain Mickey Mouse t-shirt. And I went to put it on him and he asked me for a Christmas Mickey shirt. And that's like the first time he's ever actually asked for something like that. Of course I had to tell him that we didn't have one. But I'm walking through Walmart and what should I see? But Mickey, this one's actually for Gloria. Mickey, or well that's Minnie and Mickey. Jammies, Christmas jammies for seven and change each. Yeah, seven eighty-eight each. And I messaged Joe and he gave his stamp of approval. And I like that it's like the classic Mickey with the Pluto, just like we've been watching lately. So I'm gonna wash these and then I'm gonna save them actually and have them wear them Christmas Eve night. And then we will open presents with them wearing these Christmas morning. And it's actually cool. I saw, I will see if I can pop the picture up right here. I saw a, like an adult shirt that kind of has this Mickey on it. I sent it to Joe. It's not in our budget right now, but I was like, maybe later this month, if we have some money, we could grab, like we could each grab ourselves one of these shirts and then we could try to kind of match the kids just for fun. We'll see though, because the adult shirts were 15 each and that's a little high for us. That is everything that the kids are getting for Christmas from mommy and daddy and from their Nana in New York. They also have my dad and my stepmom and they will get a present from each of them. Or I mean, they'll, get, they'll each get a present from them. And I, I just think that's good. I think these are gifts that are going to last after Christmas day and like they'll actually want to play and stuff. That was day six of Vlogmas for you. Thank you for watching. I will be sharing their stockings later on when I get around to doing that shopping. I just really want to focus on like budget friendly Christmas because that's what we need right now. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think they're going to be most excited to open. Hopefully you enjoyed this budget friendly what we got our kids for Christmas video. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. As soon as Vlogmas is over, I'm gonna go back to my normal upload schedule of Monday, Wednesdays. Mondays, I do specifically sit down, talk about toddler 
toddler life, toddler motherhood topics. And Wednesdays I reserve for just really casual family vlogs. My channel is for moms like me who need somebody to just do motherhood with. So if that's you, please subscribe, please stay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Snow is falling, all the windows in the rain.